Hi, my name is Tandiwe. May you help me with this lab science question? It's a cladogram. A cladogram is just a fancy name for a phylogenetic tree. Okay, so phylo means phylum and the genes, so how they changed along the way, showing the primate evolution. So primates are your African apes, for example. The letter A to E indicates the characteristics which are shared by the different species of primates and they follow, that follow the letter. The point where the various species of primates differ from each other is indicated by the branching off or the splitting into a new species. So they're showing us a bit of speciation here as well. Okay, so here we go. Here's our cladogram um, or phylogenetic tree. Uh, I, I'm not a favorite of these. I like the old ones where you've got the, or, or the old fashioned ones, you've got time and you've got blah, blah, blah on the side, up, up and down here and there. But anyway, so what we've got, remember each one of these is a characteristic. It means that everyone, all of these little organisms will have characteristic A. So your Capuchin monkeys, the vervet monkey, rhesus monkey, gibbon, chimpanzee and humans. And then B, well, the Capuchin monkey won't have B, but the rest will. And C, well, those will have it, but not these two. And then they split, and then they split again. And then D, chimps and humans, and E, only the humans. So these are the characteristics that are actually quite important. Alrighty, so let's have a look what we've got here. Which letter represents a common characteristic of all primates? Well, we've just looked at that. It would be A, because A would be in all of them. So the letter A, or characteristic A. List three structural characteristics represented by the letter named in, okay, so that's the letter A. So let's think. What characteristics will the Capuchin monkey, the vervet monkey, the rhesus monkey, the gibbon, um, the chimpanzee and the human all have in common? And the easiest thing to think about is, look, this. What is this? It's called a pendactyl limb. It's a hand, actually. So think about what your hand has got versus what the African apes have got. And you've got your answer, so let's look at it. Number one. What do we have? We have a posable thumbs. That means that the thumbs can wiggle round and round. We have bare fingertips. Okay, they're not padded, they're bare fingertips. We have nails, and so do the monkeys, and not claws. I mean, dogs have claws, lions have claws, cheetahs have claws. Okay, we have long upper arms, all right? And we have, look at this, what's this? It's freely rotating joints in the arm. We have here in the shoulder and in the wrist. So freely rotating arms and hands, okay? Any of those, I only wanted three, but th you must know them. You must know those characteristics and just think about them. Find ways to remember them. Which organism is most similar to the chimpanzee? Okay, the one that's the most similar to the chimpanzee is going to be little Homo sapiens, our humans. Okay, then it says, name any two structural characteristics of the skull that make the organism named in question two, in other words, humans, different from the chimpanzee. People, listen, a skull, a skull is the cranium, okay, plus the facial bones. It's not the lower jaw. So what are you gonna have? Let me see here. Okay, you're gonna have, we have, humans have a larger cranium. Okay, what else do they have? They have um, no cranial ridge. Okay, they have a more forward for a men. That's how you remember how to spell it. For a men magnum. Why? Because we are bipedal. Okay, uh, we have a flat forehead. Okay, um, we have a we have little or no. 
prognathus, which is the protruding of the jaw. Oh, and we also have small canines. Okay, we've got one last question here. Let's quickly check it. Write down the names of the organisms that display characteristic C, but not D and E. Well, that's an easy one. We just go back and we look at our cladogram. They show C, but not D and E. It would be your rhesus monkey and your gibbon. So here we go. Rhesus monkey and the gibbon. Right, there you are. Question done.